Today we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges and Eververse as well. And Eververse has a lot of good stuff. So if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help the channel. But let's get on with the video. So Wayfinders Voyage 5. Use Wayfinders Compass to complete Wayfinders Voyage 5. Also taken or also defeat taken with bows anywhere in the system. This one's not too hard. Wayfinders Voyage 5 is immediately given to you once you log in. Assuming you are keeping up with the story. And then just use your bow. That's really it. You can use any bow you want. Uh, essentially just yeah it's really simple honestly uh, deceiving appearances use agar scepters to carve a path through illusory barriers in the shattered realm and claim the treasure they conceal additionally align beacons in the shattered realm unfortunately this doesn't work because uh, last week i did do this so it just, maybe you just have to do it in in this in this week's maybe i don't know that that's kind of unfortunate but i mean at the same time it's not that not it's not that hard considering you're gonna have to do this anyways stellar aim defeat combatants with hand cannons and stasis damage combatants defeated in astral alignment activity grant bonus progress this one's actually gonna be pretty simple considering we already have a hand cannon that does stasis damage which is velpicula uh which is the season's hand cannon so you might want to pair that together obviously uh, Ascendant Ballast 2, uh, gather Ascendant Anchors from Patrol Destinations and Shattered Realm. This one's not too hard, uh, especially, uh, again, if you're keeping up with the story, this shouldn't be too hard. If it is a little hard, I highly suggest you look up videos. I unfortunately don't have them just because, like, I've been busy with other things. Uh, zone Controller, Capture Zones and, and Crucible Match. This one's not hard, just go into, cru into uh, what is it called, uh, <clears throat> capture controls i don't i don't remember the actual specific we'll look at it later but this one's the one that's always up just capture zones this one's not going to be hard at all i'll show you guys in a minute and then last but not least strike at zero wrath minions to be taken in scorn bosses and strikes this one's going to be a little annoying especially if bosses means like the like the end strike boss uh because there's some like yellow or orange bar i don't remember what color it is there are some ones that count as bosses so hopefully that's the case if not this one's going to be annoying and that's pretty much it for the seasonal challenges. As for the uh, the crucible thing, it's control. So this is it. This control is always here. So this is definitely gonna be dope. Just go into it and just uh, do your thing. And last but not least, Eververse has some really dope stuff. Like I said in the beginning. Uh, first and foremost, let's see if uh, okay. <clears throat> So she has junkyard steed, which if you, if you got uh, the steed or the junkyard ghost last week, you definitely want to uh, pair it with this one, and hopefully they give you the ship as well. I didn't get it just because I'm not a big fan of it. And then the first one, roar of the worm. I actually love this get this gun. It's one of my favorite guns in Destiny 2, and this looks really cool. Although I do think there's uh, the other skin in the store is a little bit better, but this is still super dope. Like. It looks so fucking fire. I definitely got it just because, you know, why the fuck not? Ossified Entrance and Jack Arena. This is a really cool shader. Uh, you definitely want to scoop this up. This actually looks really cool with it. There's no blue. So, unfortunately, Jack Arena has a bad thing where you can see the blue right there. There is blue in this, and on certain armor sets, it looks really bad. And this looks actually really dope, though. I might actually, I might actually use this. And last but not least, we have Big Red Button. Uh, Queen Cobra, I'll have the other two, uh, the Warlock and Titan ones on the top, because I, I actually don't know what it is right now. Uh, Vice Shell, which is okay. Knuckle Bug, which is okay. Uh, eat It Up. Uh, For the King, which is super, super cool. Uh, doesn't really change, like, the geometry of the weapon. It's more of a shader, if anything else. But it's a Taken effect, and I, I love that. So that's why I got it. And then uh, Crota's Bane Protection. Projection. Uh, hockey history polish, which is okay if you want to go with the hockey look. Uh, 44 steel, which I've never been a big fan of this one. Uh, gray, grayscale undergrowth, which I mean, it's great. It's great. That's it. And then uh, golden age wine, which looks really weird, but also cool. And that's pretty much it. A Dominus Gall effects, uh, effects invasion effects, and tiger effects. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, we didn't get an armor set for for the Nemean, uh, Nemean sets, but I do think we got some cool stuff for the king. If you don't have any of the ornaments, that's also super dope. And then uh, this Roar of the Worm one really got me. So 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll links are in the description below. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked the video, and basically just been supporting me. I, re I really do appreciate it. And I have a lot of things coming up in the future, a lot of Destiny 2 related stuff, a lot of uh, other gaming related stuff as well. Uh, so I hope, I hope you guys can uh, support me through that stuff as well. But other than that, I'll see you guys later.